Everybody, welcome back to Armor of Forger. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the uh, most excellent little Calvoy Island mod on your community server for Armor of Forger, um, and how to install the custom scenarios as well, because that can be a little bit complicated. Um, now, remember, I'm recording this video in the latter half of April 2024, so some of the bits may well change by the time you come round to do this. Um, Calvoy, Ar Calvoy Island is uh, on the workshop. It's nice and small. You could have some very, very nice Game Master um, scenarios in here, or uh, hopefully there'll be some sort of single player or, or co-op scenarios as well. It's really small, you see, so th there's lots of opportunity to kind of have small unit CQB sort of um, interactions, I think, and stuff like that. You know, I mean, you can just see it. And having a look around it, it seems to be very well made as well. Um, so, you know, it seems to be on a quality of, uh, you know, the main maps, Everon and um, the other, which I can't quite remember at the moment. So big thumbs up to Dr. Plector for doing that. So how do we get this onto our community server? Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you on a Nitrado community server because that's what I've got, uh, Armour Forger, and we're going to have it cross-play as well. In fact, because if you go over, this is actually my Xbox, um, and as you can see, you've got my um, this is this is uh, my Xbox carrier running around. You can only tell it's Xbox because the frame rate isn't quite as smooth <laughs> as on the PC. But there we go. So there's uh, there's my Xbox just to kind of show you that that's working that way. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, what we need to do is, when you go over to your server, you'll want to go to the config files, and you'll want to scroll down a bit, and you'll want to install the mods that you want to install on your server. If you haven't done this already, when you basically scroll down, let's, let's kind of have a look at this. So, as you can see, as you scroll down, you've got the kind of name of the server, um, that's the invisible name. You've got the actual name that appears in the server browser. You've got the passwords there. Don't worry, I'll be changing them after this video. Now, the scenario ID. Now, that's very important. We're going to be coming back to that in a minute, but this may well say conflict on it at the moment, or it might say something to do with Game Master for Everon. Um, then you've got how many players can go on the server. Obviously, that is, depends on the amount of money that you're paying to your server provider. And you've got view distance and stuff like that then you have the mod section so this is very important so this is where the bits that, that you add to the game to, to add these these um, these aspects into your particular server but this isn't the scenario so how do we get this list well it's very very easy now so in reforger and you really got it's much easier to do this on PC so what you do is you go to your uh, workshop and you go to your mod manager and all of the mods that you want to have installed enable them so for example in this particular case it would be calvoy say you just wanted calvoy island space core and t72 so t72 that's the tank mod um the space core is the dependency dependency for that now whichever mods i have enabled if i click on this rather handy button up here this jigsaw um, uh, piece when I click on JSON, it gives me the code that I need to do that. So all you need to do now is you just need to copy that to the clipboard and then go back to your server and um, after the first square bracket, but before the second square bracket and the comma, you paste in your mods. Now, I'm not going to quite do that because I have other mods that I want running on this. So I've got Calvoy Island, Night Vision, uh, Disable Game Master, Budget, Space Core, Quick Builder, Heli Door Gunners, the M113 APC, the Abram, the T72, Where Am I, and Unit Map Markers. And just double check that at the end, the last mod shouldn't have a comma after the last squiggle bracket, and then you should have the square bracket with a comma. Okay, so that, that installs those mods onto your particular server. What tells your server to load them in? Now, what you will notice as well is that I've changed the version to just be to be two inverted commas or two quotation marks next to each other rather than having the version number here. Now, the reason why we do this is if you just have um, the two quotation marks like that, it tells the server, load the latest version. And if you don't, if you have the old version, 
it'll mean that people have to keep loading the older version back in to play on a particular server. So that's one thing you need to change. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is I may well put in a feedback tracker to uh, the Reforger devs about that and say they need they really need to change that so that, um, that that happens. So we've now got that, but what we haven't got is the scenario. So what would happen is if we restarted our server right now, uh, we'd probably have a few problems. What we need to do now is if we go back to the top, we need to find this scenario ID as well. Now, this is where things get a little bit more complicated. Hopefully, at some point, what will happen is you'll be able to get the scenario ID, hopefully, from, from here. But at the moment, um, you can't. Um, it, it doesn't let you. So what we need to do is you need to have subscribed to the mod in Armour of Forger, and it must have downloaded. And then on your PC, where you want to go to, if you look at the top of my screen here, is you want to go to C, Users, and in my case that's Scale, Documents, My Games, Armour of Forger. So this is where your computer stores all of the, the info about your particular games. Not the games themselves, but just like the, the data that they have. And then into Add-ons. So I'll tell you what, let's, let's, go, let's go back to... Um, so we've got, so we got the, uh, my PC. Now, I have Reforger installed on C. So, in fact, I think it will always be on C. So we're going to C, and then we go into Users. Then we go into Scale, which is me. Then we go into My Games, which I can't see. Oh, sorry, then we go into Documents. Then we go into My Games, and here we are. So then we go into Armour Reforger. Then we go into Add-ons. And if you scroll down, we can see we have all the names. Now, recently, what's happened is that now the names of the mods and the ID of the mod is now included in the folder. <laughs> okay. Now, with us, it's fairly easy because we know that you know we want to um, have a look for uh, Calvoy. So it's quite easy for us. So we can just search for Calvoy if we wanted to, and it would appear, and then we can go into it. And then this file you want to open up and have a look at in your favorite text editor is serverdata.json. So edit that with your notepad, and you'll you'll see this file here. Right, and here we have all the scenarios that are available for this particular um, server. Now, at some point in the future, this may well be selectable from the server menu when you go into it as admin, perhaps. But at the moment, what you need to do is you need to set this. And the, the game master scenario for Calvoy is this one. They've, the, the chap has called it Sandbox, but obviously it's Game Master. So what you do is you, you copy all of that right to the uh, inverted comma. So we've got the inverted comma, squiggly bracket, right through to the other inverted comma. Then we go up here, and then we paste that over there, not to the last comma though so you see so we've got the inverted comma we've got that and then what you do is you would then save that and restart your server and that then is telling your telling your server start with the calvoy sandbox or the calvoy game master scenario when it fires up with these particular mods as well and in fact if you go back to the general uh, settings you'll see that at the top with the scenario, we've now got unknown. Now, you might well have this error. I don't know why this error is coming up, because it still works. It's just one of those things. You'll see that is now there as, as there. So don't change that. If you ever change that and then save, it'll change on your config file as well. One kind of drives the other. So you restart your server, and then just go into the server browser within Reforger, and as long as you've got um, uh, crossplay, on, you'll be able to see it on Xbox and on uh, PC. Where's crossplay? Is at the bottom? There you go. Supported platforms, platform PC, comma platform Xbox Live or XBL as well. You do that, and then when you go into Armour Forge. Now, what I will do is in the description below this video. In fact, let's go back to let's go back to Xbox. In the description below this video, I'll put in those relevant um, pieces of text. So I'll put the mod details for Calvoy, and I'll also. Hello, why is he going so slow? And I, he's like going in slow motion, isn't he? And, what's he doing? Like doing the moonwalk. And I'll also put in 
the text for the different scenarios as well but remember just choose one there's a few free-for-all scenarios um, and then there's the um, then there's the game master scenario those scenarios that you see in that, that particular situation are totally dependent on what the map creator has included with the game so if there is no game master scenario then there is no game master scenario one one wasn't included with the terrain with the map that way um, you know if there is no conflict one then there wasn't there was not one included with the scenario now there well may well be another mod on the workshop that brings conflict to this particular terrain or this particular scenario but it's not included with the map itself okay so there we go hopefully you found this video useful if you have um hit subscribe if you want to see more of the same <coughs> hit like or the other way around and thank you very much for dr plector for the most excellent looking calvoy island um yeah see you again soon everybody bye